Hello and welcome to another short video on how to convert uh, content so you can use it online. And I'm Ben Coleman and I'm a level 2 Google certified educator and in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a few files um, over to digital. And I just uh, I did an online search and came up with some uh, worksheets. Um, I'm a math teacher but these are social studies and I, I want to give an example of social studies. So here's a social studies um, worksheet you have been given the title of historian what does that mean you will take the next 15 minutes to observe artifacts in the classroom I would change that to search the web and record your findings I would make this more specific uh, and and make it more about uh, doing searches on the internet um, anyway the most important part of this worksheet that makes it difficult to get it into the digital environment is important idea or picture is over here and then you've got uh, details over here and uh, in fact the best way to get this to port this over is go new Google Docs and I put a few blank lines at the beginning I'm going to call this uh, social studies one uh, and insert a table tables are really powerful if we go back and we look at this worksheet this has uh, six rows and then and then this is going to be one picture so we want to insert a table with two columns you'll see there's method behind my madness insert table with two columns and six rows bam like that and so now we've got our six rows where the student can enter some information I'm just going to adjust this over so that the picture is a little bit smaller and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to merge I just right mouse click and I click the merge cells and now the student can put the picture there and they can put their ideas here now I would take actually take that a step further and make it look even more uh, capable than the original worksheet and I would merge these cells so that um, so that you've got the three student ideas merge over here and so now you can you can see what this the picture would go here and then the three student ideas would go here and I'd even I'd even do an example I'd put a picture here and then three ideas here as an example at the beginning and you know you could type search up search the web find how about find revolutionary war I don't know. I'm not a social studies teacher, um, but certainly a social studies teacher would know would know exactly what to search. Maybe Revolutionary War article, articles or art. How about artifacts? And write three ideas about each. And then you'd copy this like three times so that they would do this. Copy and paste it. One, two so that they have to go and find three different uh, Revolutionary War artifacts and they, all they're going to do is open a window of Revolutionary War artifacts and let's look at these nice images here's a nice, oh that's cool copy, go over here, paste we're probably going to have to resize, no we didn't have to resize and then we look up what this is and three ideas about it so anyway, that's that's one type of social studies worksheet. Uh, here's one that says, oh, it's going to wait. Okay, here we come. Happy Constitution Day. Discuss questions about the Constitution. Scavenger hunt. Use your resources to answer the following questions. Yeah, I would reword that so it takes advantage of the uh, of the internet and having students do searches on the internet. Why was the Constitution created? These are all beautiful questions that are just easy to copy and paste right into a Google Doc. Um, so so this is that one's almost no work at all. Uh, Atlas worksheet. Oh my god, where'd it go? Oh, I deleted it by accident. Uh, anyway, well let's sorry about that. Here's my Atlas worksheet. A new world to the Europeans. So here's an example uh, of a worksheet where we probably want to use the snipping tool because we probably in converting this worksheet over we probably want to snip 
these graphics out of it. We definitely need to reword. We need to reword this. So it, this this needs to say you know search on the web to fill in this timeline, or maybe you could even give them a specific website uh, and then cut cut that out. Um, here again, well here. This is an interesting worksheet to work on, but I, th I think you can make a digital version of it pretty quickly. I mean, these multiple choice uh, questions and stuff are usually pretty easy to convert over. Um, so this is a pretty easy one to do. Just one cutout. Um, so I hope, I hope you're having good success uh, creating worksheets for your classes. And if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to post them at the bottom of the videos and I will answer them. Have a great day.